Hi everyone, my name is Donna and I'm making a plea on um, GoFundMe for a school for children in northern Iraq who, who have lost everything. Um, many of these children have lost their fathers, they've been brutally murdered by ISIS, ISIL, ICE, Islamic State. Girls as young as 12, maybe even younger, are sold into sexual slavery where they're married to one man for the night, divorced in the morning, and then married to another man the next day. While some of their basic needs are being met, such as food, blankets, and water, these children are desperate for one thing, and that is going back to school, something we all take for granted. This will give them a sense of normalcy and purpose. Will you please help us start a school in Northern Iraq? I mean, we can't go there and fight. You know, I mean, there are people that are doing that and, and Lord love them for helping. Whatever way, that's probably But these children, the only thing they have is to just pick up sticks during the day so that they can make a fire to help their mom make bread. Most of these children are orphans because they don't have dads. And their sisters are gone and you know, I met these four high school girls and they didn't ask for clothes or, or food or money. They just want to go to school. So I'm asking you to send a dollar or five dollars or ten dollars or just pass on this video. Say a prayer. But please help us help them, okay? Be the generation that does something, okay? I know that's, that's you. I believe it. I believe in this generation. Thank you so much for listening. Peace. Um, I was heartbroken by what I saw going on over in Iraq, and I didn't really know how to do anything or help, and I thought that there was nothing that I could do. And um, I called my mom on the phone and I really wanted to do something. So we prayed for them and uh, we, two weeks later we were there and I, I saw the kids and, and we had a connection and these kids, I would walk around all the villages and they would scream my name and say, I love you, I love you, because we really connected. And I can't just leave that behind. A lot of people can leave something like that behind. Oh, if they go on a missions trip or something, they go home and forget about it. But I've personally made friends in Iraq. So I, I couldn't stop thinking about it when I came back. And we really want a, a chance to do something there with this school. So we really would love and, and love if you could donate to our cause. Uh, we really want to start this school. Just hearing so much about all the things that ISIS was doing and is doing. And just like just the horrible injustice of what's going on and, and it just breaks my heart to be a Christian in this country with all the blessing that I have and, and that life is so easy for me and I can hold worship services at my house without any uh, flack from anyone and the stories that they were telling and uh, the pictures of CJ with all those kids just surrounding him and, and him bringing joy to those people that have lost joy and uh, just to bring, bring a, like a refreshing of the the love of Christ. America! America! Yeah. This is your chance to help, you know, this is your chance to do something practical for, for brothers and sisters in Christ and just for people who are like displaced widows and orphans. You know, that's that's the call of Christ to, to take care of them. So um, so we're going to be able to be the hands and feet of Christ over there in Iraq, and, and you can help us uh, do that by donating whatever money you have, whatever money that you're going to spend on Netflix, or whatever money you're going to spend on just something, something, you know, something temporal, or something in this world. Um, we can use that to, to benefit people for Christ's sake. Um, so yeah, we love you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, be praying for us. Iraq. I want to help. 
when I tell people that I want to go to Iraq, they're like, eh, why would you want to go there? And I'm like, everything that's happening, like, we can't just let it go. We have to do something. It's just showing me how I can't just sit here at home in my comfy house and go to school and go to work and just live life knowing that all this horrible stuff is happening and I'm not doing anything.